Tag has been exper uh, experimenting with a couple of, uh, of side characters, a couple of counter picks like the Inkling. But of course, Pete's still the tried and true. And this is an interesting starter stage, letting Palu go to Triplots. I mean, I know Chag has been farming our SoCal tournaments recently, you know, getting a lot of first place tournament winnings, but Razo is going to be a whole different beast to fight against. And there was the Stitch Phase, and that did like half his shield right there. But it is going to disappear almost completely unused. Chag's shield's already back to full. So really a moot point at this point. Coming back onto stage, Chag looking for that space bear, but instead Razo able to regain center stage, at least for the moment. Here we go. Oh, I like that going off stage, knowing that like he had the turn in hand. If he landed on stage, he probably would have been you no know, comboed really heavily right there. But going off stage, you no, know, is honestly the better option as opposed to getting comboed by Peach. Throwing out those nares to cover space too. Chag doing a great job of trying to keep Razo out, but Razo doing a great job of getting in. Now currently has the lead on Chag, getting the shield up in time to avoid the nair hit. But here comes the grab, and this could be a back air. No good air dodge from Razo. Still getting hit by the back air at the end of the day though. Right, using the flow to avoid any of the edge guard potential that Chag has, but here we go. Trying going for the chump, not going to get to it though. Comes back to stage. Chag wants that space bear. He's been looking for it. Our, like we're only a minute and a half or so into the game, and we already know exactly what Chag's win condition is, and it's bear at the ledge. Right. It's going to be bear. It's going to be explosive flame off stage, right? But you know what? Razo is not going to make it easy. Oh, bomb him! Yeah. Not going to be able to get the explosion there, but it was certainly dangerous for the moment he had it. Now Chag with the turn up gets the chase with the down tilt to take out that first stock. And I actually want to take a second to touch on something you said. And you said he was looking for the kill with the side B, that explosive flame, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. When Chag throws that out, he's not actually looking for a kill. Really? What he's instead doing is he's creating sort of a a very like linear path that Razo is forced to take, right? That explosive flame is up in the air, so that means Razo can't go this direction. Chag's right here, which means Razo can't go this direction. I know Chad can't, Chat can't see me, but just imagine like a, a little sidewalk that Chag has created, forcing Razo to take a very specific route back to stage that Chag can then cover. Right. He's basically creating a, a no-fly zone for Peach, right? Because, you know, Peach is able to get so much recovery because of her float ability. So being able to close off an entire lane of which she can recover is going to be insane for the matchup, especially if he wants to, you know, force him to go low and then go for a Nair edge guard. Now, though, going to be trying to get back up on stage, gets the up air to punish Chag, throwing out that bear hitbox, and that's a stitch face. This is dangerous, but Chag catching it. This could be super bad for Razo. Here we go. Oh, oh no. Oh, but he picks up Who's the wrong turn up. Yeah. Throws out that side B, forcing the roll, but Chag being very careful about how he uses that resource, and right. now it's just gone. I mean, but that is just so scary, especially when Razo pulled out a bomb earlier. I, I believe that was the second Stitch Face, too, was it not? That was the second Stitch Face, one bomb bomb. You said it during the set with Hungrybox. Razo having very good luck with the turnip pulls. And wow, that is such amazing pressure, and he gets the kill off of the back air on the landing, too. No, Razo is just so good at just knowing where you're going to land and just finding the kills off of it. Going to be caught by Grab, though, and Shag just kind of giving Razo a little bit of stare down, giving himself time to mix up that DI, gets the F throw, sends him off stage, but still unable to get this kill. All right, here we go. There's the Nair, like, chain trying to get something started with the turnip, but you know what? All this shield damage is Chag going to you know, continue blocking it, but he gets the kill with the bear. No extra credit either on yeah. Chag, so this is fully even, a full reset, 0% on both of them. It's really going to be up to who finds the momentum first. The turnip pull, going to have a weapon in hand, but Chag, the double bear into the dash attack, 47. Right. And you know what? That bear is just... Oh my god, 81%. Right. That's the peach we're used to. Yeah. This is the Raw. So this is the custom combo. I know exactly where you're going to land, and I know how to follow up off of no matter which DI. Yeah, that is just something that uh, Peach kind of does. And something that we just kind of have to be okay with. I, I know Chag's got to be okay with it. That was a really weird interaction with up tilt, but Chag catching Dare, chasing all the way up with up air, and popping off just a little bit after clutching out the game with an up air by the, the top blast zone. Yeah. Remember what I said? Uh, at the very beginning, I'm surprised he let Palu go to Battlefield. Right. That's why. Right. And that was like the very, very corner of the up air, too. That was like, if it, if the up air, like, it's in the shape of wing. That was like the very tip of the wing right there. Absolutely. You know? And it was just so crazy because Razo could have easily, you know, gotten a single fair and just ended the stock right there as well. Yeah, for sure. But 
Going into game number two, where I actually wasn't looking. I was looking at you. What stage are we going to? Uh, I did not see at the moment. I'm sorry, but... Well, we'll find out in just yeah. a second. It's very obviously going to be just Palu versus Peach. The run back, both players, of course, you mentioned it at the very start. No surprise here. Character specialists going their characters. Right. And I know what we saw earlier was... No, he was able to put on so much pressure because Barrett being invincible means that like Peach can't anti-air that with you know with well, no, with the fair of herself. So you no, know, Chag just has such a good aggressive tool that Peach is gonna have a hard time contesting. Speaking of good aggressive tool though, that Nair and that Dare Chag in a little bit of trouble getting something started here. Goes for the auto reticle, but Razo is still avoiding it. You're you're saying? Uh, still still able to avoid it. Sorry. Right. Um is going to be able to come back to stage there, though. Uh, not able to find anything. Both of them are playing so carefully around each other right now. Right? They both know that the second they drop shield at the in the arc of two time, they're gonna get a hard punish on it. You know, Chad trying to go for that second up air, but Rondo just staying out of breast reach with the float. Looking for the auto reticle again, and really just not a, a super punishable option by Chad. Very smart, but speaking of very smart, that landing fair. Right, and you know, that invincible dash attack beating out Peach Bear, it's just going to be so hard for Peach to contest with Palutena on the ground if she decides to go for the dash attack. Looking for these bears, though, yet again. We saw that was Chag's win condition in the previous game. Gets the dash attack, looks for the Nair on the landing, too, and this is perfectly even teleporting back to center stage to try and bypass the edge guard, but still gets grabbed and sent right back off yet again. Right, and you can see Rozo's just trying to scout off all the options that Chag wants to do, but Chag being a very calm and collected person, no, doesn't pick an immediate option. He reacts to what Rosal's going to pick first. Good down tilt, though. That's going to be the fair. Chag doesn't quite have time to turn it around to get the bear, but it's still going to be big damage. And speaking of big damage, that up smash to punish the run out of Legend Invincibility. And we see both players just hiding in shield, no, waiting for the other to blink first. And unfortunately, the person who blinked first was Rosal. Chag puts him on the nair plane. It's time for your flight, but. Raz are not quite ready for takeoff yet. Chases with the fair, chases with the nair. Chag still landing safely though. All right, tries to get the turnip snipe. Not gonna be able to find its mark, but gets, oh my God, tried reading the high recovery on the teleport right there. Right, gets the parry into the dash attack. Now Chag sets himself up for great success here. Throws out that explosive flame, throws out that auto reticle, but Raz are still able to get back up onto stage. Goes for that short hop into the, the air dodge back down to stage get past Chag's grab, and it does so successfully, but still been unable to find his footing. Right, and now we just see Rozzo just struggling to find his way in. Now Chag being so good at playing defensive playing, just barely outside of Peach's range, but still close enough to get a punish. Gets the dash attack in, though. He is going to be able to up you back to stage, and instead it's going to be the fair from Rozzo. Chag goes for that turnaround bear, tries to get the punish, tries to get the kill, but instead finds himself losing his own life. Right. All right. Has the turnip in hand? Can you make off of it? No, not really. It's a lot of projectiles, dude. <laughs> Expose. Oh, oh, the tail hitbox, the very last frame of up, uh, up air going to be able to connect there, takes the stock down, and now Chad going to get all the nares he wants, all everything that he could desire to get that extra credit on Razo. And you know Razo tries to do the same at 0%, because that is prime peach combo percent, but you know what? Chad is just making it so hard for Razo to land any solid hits on him. Comes back onto stage, gets the back air, and gets the explosive flame as well. Tries for the auto reticle, forces out the air dodge. And because he forces out the air dodge, Razo's going to have a lot harder time getting back to stage. Oh. And that's going to be game. A little bit of unfortunate DI, but regardless, a beautiful setup by Chag. Just basically robbed Razo of every single resource he could possibly